horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen live on YouTube. Horns up folks, it is Friday night and you know what that means. It's fried rice Friday. So if you guys know me, you know I love fried rice. I love to take leftovers and turn them into some kind of fried rice. The other option is always a sandwich. Now, my fridge has been getting pretty full because I've been shooting recipes non-stop this entire week. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of new recipe videos coming out starting next week. Uh, it's gonna be pretty epic, so make sure you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I upload a new video. And for now, you are gonna help me decide what I'm going to cook right now because I have a few options and I'm going to show you all of them. So I'm going to run you through everything that I've got here. And there are a lot of boxes here and I'm going to open them now. So first of all, let me know which part of the world you're watching from. Make sure you smash that like button on this video for the YouTube algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I can see about 20 of you online, so please do. Okay, this is not actually part of the deal, but anyway, this is a secret stash. I'll show it to you anyway. Okay. Alright. One more item. Another item. Hi, Kelly. Hello. There's more stuff here. It's a lot of stuff, guys. The goal of this live stream is to clear out my fridge of as much stuff as I can. Obviously within reason because I don't want to be sick after this meal. But you're going to help me select what I'm going to make because we can do a number of things. So it's basically fried rice Friday and I use that term very loosely because we are going to make some kind of rice dish. Smash that like button if you eat rice. In fact, smash that like button if you don't eat rice also. Smash that like button even if you eat cauliflower rice. Smash it, guys. All right. So, <clears throat> in case anybody has uh, joined my channel after a long period of time and you're like going, what rice? What is this guy talking about? Guys, I quit keto in 2019. I eat all foods now and I eat them in moderation. That's the TLDR for those who are joining me after a long time and might be surprised that I'm eating rice or whatever. Now, let me show you what we got here and you're going to help me pick what we're going to make. So obviously, for fried rice, we need rice. Let me take you on a little trip now to my ingredients. As you can see, they're all laid out behind me there. I'm going to show you what options we have we're basically again like i said going to make some kind of a rice preparation so let's change the camera angle okay now this is the first time somebody is making fried rice with jeera rice now this was uh, ordered from a restaurant for one of the shoots i was doing because i needed to serve my dish with rice and i ordered this jeera rice and it's left over so it's a day old, it's got jeera is cumin seeds. So these are cumin seeds, a little sprinkling of coriander. Okay, this here is birria taco beef fat. I made birria tacos last week and this is a little bit of the fat that's left. This is some spring onion greens from today's recipe of black pepper beef. I got half an onion. In this box is a mixture of parsley and cilantro, again from two different shoots, okay? That is leftover chicken caffrial, which I shot for a video. And that is, it, it's been, it's not half eaten, it's just been shredded for sandwiches. Okay, now here is where it gets interesting. Here's my protein choice. Beef tongue, yeah, this is beef tongue that's just been sort of cooked is delicious you can eat it plain i don't know how many of you like beef tongue but this is absolutely delicious beef tongue now here we have a creamy mushroom sauce yeah 
I made this to go with some beef steaks. So right now, the mushroom sauce and the beef tongue can go together and they can be cooked with the rice and it will be like a risotto almost. So it will be a beef tongue and mushroom risotto. So if we go this direction, it's a beef tongue and mushroom risotto. Here I have lentils, yellow lentils cooked with the rest of this beef tongue. That is for another video I'm doing. So I can mix the yellow lentils and beef tongue with the jeera rice and we will get what is known as a khichdi. So in India, khichdi is like a is a comfort food dish of lentils and rice cooked together. So we can make a khichdi out of this. Or the third option is a very creamy coconut curry with the rice. Again, a bit like a risotto because I'll shred the chicken and put it in with the rice and that coconut gravy. But I ate this for lunch, so I'm not too keen on that. But those are all the ingredients I have. And now it's time for you to tell me what you think I should eat. And if you don't vote, I guess I will vote myself. But that's what we got today. That's what we're cooking with. Whoops. All right. So now, while you guys potentially deliberate what I'm going to eat or cook rather, Remember, we have an option of chicken and coconut curry. We have an option of lentils and beef tongue. Or we have an option of creamy mushroom beef tongue. Now I'm going to put this stuff to the side. Because I am now going to chop this one onion that is there. Yeah, I don't know if you need to see me chopping an onion. But I guess if I move here, yeah, you can kind of see. Okay. If we move you guys a little back, ah, there we go. You can see. All right, you can see what I'm doing then. Fantastic. I sure can give you guys a little bit of a tilt. It'll be perfect. Great. Perfect. So now I'm just going to slice this onion while you guys decide what I should eat. Let me know in the comments below. Am I eating beef tongue and mushroom sauce? Or am I eating beef tongue and yellow lentils? Or am I eating chicken and coconut curry? Yeah, I was uh, I was kind of leaning towards the beef tongue as well. Well, since Kelly has voted, I'm going to follow Kelly on this one. Um, so I'm going to put away these two things, the lentils and the chicken. Uh, that's going in the fridge now. And uh, let's get cooking, guys. So my onion is chopped now. Let's move that to the side. Now let's get the beef tongue. How many of you have eaten beef tongue? If you've ever eaten beef tongue, say, actually drop that tongue emoji in the comments. If you have ever eaten beef tongue, drop the tongue emoji in the comments. Hello, hello. All right, creamy mushroom has already won the race. All right, we're doing creamy mushroom. So first thing I'm going to do is slice the beef tongue into small cubes. So just cube the tongue up. And this is beautiful as a cold cut. It's great in sandwiches, in, in like anything really. Like beef tongue is a very underutilized cut of beef. Um, I think it's become pretty expensive in America at least. In India it's still not that expensive. But you know... Um, yeah. Alright, let's chop up that tongue. It sounds like some medieval punishment. Chop their tongues off. How dare you speak ill of the emperor. You shall now forfeit your tongue. Yes, this is some good looking tongue, my friends. And of course, I gotta... Mmm... So good. Oh, wow. Mephisto, why aren't we getting a home cooked meal tomorrow? Actually, you can eat. There is some stuff, but you are you are vegetarian. So I have to cook special. If Hussein is coming, Hussein can have the tongue dal. He can have uh, the uh, chicken. He can have pork vindaloo is also there in the fridge. There's some beef. Uh, pepper, black pepper, beef. Actually, I've got enough food for Hussein. 
आई विल मेक समथिंग फॉर यू एज वेल चलो सो आई गेस आई एम कुकिंग टू मोरो एज वेल फॉर माई बैंड मेट्स थैंक यू स्पेक्स अपील आई रियली अप्रिशिएट इट और राइट सो नाउ द टंग इज चॉप्ड लेट्स गेट ऑन विद द कुकिंग प्लीज स्मैश दैट लाइक बटन फॉर द यूट्यूब आई गो रिद माई फ्रेंड्स This, my friends, is one of the most important tools in the kitchen. A spatula. These silicone spatulas help you get every single ounce of everything out of the container. So let's warm up that beef birria fat that's there. This is what I'm going to use to cook beef birria fat. All right, the stove is on. I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, and this chicken is also going to be my snack. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish off this chicken. It's going to be my snack. So I just microwave it for thirty seconds. Let's put it. great we got that microwaving that will be my how many of you snack while you're cooking and what do you generally snack on i generally snack on what i'm cooking so that's never a good thing and by the time i'm done cooking i'm like i'm full so i'm going to snack on that chicken for now so hopefully i don't eat the beef tongue cuz i'd be picking at the beef tongue and finishing that up now i don't know if you can see you can see i've cut them into like nice little cubes beautiful beef tongue cubes you see the problem is when i pick them up like this they just have this tendency to like go into my mouth oh so good mm great my snack is ready all right that's the beef birria fat That's the silicone spatula that will help me get all this fat into that pan. Let's go. All right, every bit of beef fat waste nothing. And then in go the onions. Oh the smell is so beefy and nice and give me a second because I I have to wash a certain spoon very quickly You can hear the sound There my spoon is ready now all right let's get you guys a little closer to the pan action now there we go so i'm just frying these onions get a little color on them i'm going to put in and i like to season my food a little as i go along not too much because the mushroom sauce actually has a fair amount of salt i think in fact i should do that first I should taste the mushroom sauce there's a mushroom from the mushroom sauce mm that has enough salt no salt in this hey dory what's up we're cooking some fried rice So I'm sorting some mushrooms. Sorry, I'm sorting some onions in some birria beef fat. Now into this goes my beef tongue. Oh yeah, yes. And I really want to develop some good beefy flavors here. Sounds like a band name. And keep the heat up cuz fried rice remember it's fried rice not steamed rice not boiled rice fried rice 
So get that frying. Get some good color on the beef and on the onions. Onions, I keep forgetting. We're cooking onions and beef. Oh, that's beautiful. Basically, the whole idea tonight is to use up as many things from my fridge as possible. So that's exactly what we're doing. I'm now going to throw in these spring onion greens just because we have them. And these are much bigger pieces. So, you know, they add a nice pop of color also. Great. We got a nice thing going on. Let's add in the rice now. So this is some jeera rice from a restaurant. You can get all the rice out. Waste nothing. There, clean as a whistle. And now we fry. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. And this is what, like a 10 minute process. Everything is ready to go. Nothing fancy. I mean, I'm not I'm sure why I'm calling this a fried rice. It's actually going to be like a risotto because this is going to be creamy mushroom sauce. It's the first risotto with cumin seeds in it because this is like a proper mushroom risotto kind of sauce. And right now this is like a Indian style beef fried rice. Beef tongue, sorry, not even beef. Anyway, this is good. Let's let's dump this in. There we go. Get all of it out. Use the spatula. Look at how clean this bowl is. Isn't it? Doesn't it annoy you on cooking shows when they pour out stuff from the bowls and it's not like fully clean? Like, look, I clean that out, guys. That's how clean your bowl should be and and in your own house, never be afraid to lick the spatula. Because I live here. This is my fork, uh, spatula and my food. Nobody else is eating it. I'm not running a restaurant. I can lick my spatula if I want. And give that a good mix now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, that is smelling amazing. Wow. This might be the best fried rice risotto I've ever made. Mmm. Hot damn. Oh yes. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Oh, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. And I don't even need to cook it because I just need it to warm through now. Brilliant. And the last thing that we have, this is a little box of cilantro or coriander as we call it in India, Kothmir in Maharashtra and some parsley. Don't ask why. But a generous sprinkle. Very generous. Too generous if you ask me. It's like turned fully green now. Healthy and green. All right, there we go. It's done and I turn my heat off. My fried rice, risotto, rice, whatever this is, is ready. Smash that like button if you think I did a good job. And let me get you guys nice and look at that. Whoa. Look at that beautiful. Let's give you guys a nice, good look at this now. Yeah? You deserve it. You deserve a good look. Is that a drum kit? Oh, hello, Hamza. When can I come to your house to play drums? All right, let's do this. All right, you get to see the risotto now. The fried rice risotto. One of the first of its kinds with delicious beef tongue in it. Look at that. Creamy, delicious. 
I mean, tell me that is not a good looking plate of food. Get a closer look. Look at that little, you can see the mushrooms. You can see the chopped beef tongue. Hello, the lovey 1999. Oh, sorry, 999. That's it, guys. Jeera rice, beef tongue, risotto fried rice is ready. That's crazy. And again, smash that like button if you think I did a good job and if you haven't smashed it yet. Thank you, the lovey 999. I appreciate it. Honestly, I don't even call myself a chef. I'm like a... Uh, I'm a YouTube, YouTube cook. I think that's, that's probably an appropriate term. I'm a YouTube cook. Okay, so now, let me drop some. Oh, damn. Hot damn. Hot damn, that's good. Hot damn. Hot damn, that's good. We got a taste. I mean, I am going to eat dinner now. Thank you. We have these t-shirts available on our merch shop. The links are, in fact, let me see if I can uh, feature the t-shirt below this video. All right, pin to the live stream. Let's look for merch. All right, we are looking for bacon, bacon tadka, bacon. Bacon tadka, yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, I have pinned to the live stream. Actually, here's the t-shirt. Okay, I have pinned the t-shirts. Where is the like button? The like button should be under the video. Just under the video, there should be a like button somewhere on the side if you're watching it on your phone. It's there. I mean, you're old enough, you can find it, man. It was a band war. Thank you all so much. Hello, Kajal from Malaysia. Hey, I just made some Malaysian black pepper beef today. Or at least I think it's Malaysian. So I guess now is a good time for me to eat. So where shall we eat and continue this conversation? Because I can talk while we eat or while I eat, I can talk. Hello, Harry McLaren. Good to see you here. Hello, Olivia Maldonado. I am hungry. So where can we sit? Where can we sit? Let's find a good spot. Let me first set up my plate. I'm going to make myself a dinner plate. There we go. Got my dinner plate. Here is my leftover chicken. And remember, waste nothing. The spatula, the spatula is at it again. Whole box, just scrape all the masala. Now this can get ugly guys. Not the scraping of the masala here. The eating chicken with bone. What about dessert? Um... I don't really eat dessert. I'm going to eat an orange for dessert. Never be afraid to lick your spatula in the privacy of your own home or on a live stream like I do if you're the one eating the food and licking the spatula. What's my hair doing today? Alright, let me serve myself some of that jeera rice risotto. There goes in my plate. One spoon, two spoon, Two and a half spoons. Now, how do I eat all this delicious food and not gain weight? Well, for starters, I go to the gym two to three times a week and lift weights. I walk five kilometers, four to five to six days a week, depending. And portion control. Now, as you can see, there's a good amount of protein with the chicken. This rice is quite fatty, quite carb heavy, but I'm not going to be taking second helpings at all. You can see my plate. It's not very full. Like that whole portion of rice is at least two meals for me. Like this plate probably weighs, I'm going to say like just all the food 
is about 300 grams to 400 grams tops. I never go more than that weight wise. So yeah. Now let's find a spot to eat and enjoy this food. I thought we could do it here, but let's try my, actually I could bring a chair here and then prop you guys up on something. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to do this. Whoops. The first thing I need is a sturdy mug. Now, I'm going to go and get a chair. Okay. Hello, Anup. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you. It's been a long time since I have uh, seen a lot of you, but just in case you didn't know, I've been regularly uploading videos and uh, posting content and doing all that stuff. Now, while I go grab a chair, you can look at the fried rice. Yeah, we can zoom in for you guys, I think. Oh, there we are. There's the fried rice. Okay, I will be RB and Happy New Year to all of you. And hold on. I'll be back. You can hear me. Miso, eat your dinner. Eat your dinner. All right, I'm back, guys. I've got a chair with me. Almost, almost there. Let's see how this works. Oops. Oh, zoom out. There we go. Ah, excellent. Could not have asked for a better. Hello, hello. Happy New Year. All right, let's get let's get down to business. All right, now we can chat while I eat dinner. Hey, thank you so much. Sucks cause can't back up. Thank you for the super chat. It is so generous of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Cheers to you. And now it's time to take a bite. I hear the pitter patter of little feet. Those mushrooms are delicious. Miso, go and eat your dinner. So the dog is refusing to eat his dinner, which by the way is delicious chicken, oats and vegetables. He's not eating it. Yes, it is a, I think 12 hours depending on where you are. If you are in America, first of all, America has three time zones. So I think, uh, I want to say Eastern Standard Time is is uh, is probably where you are 12 hours and then central is a little more and then pacific is even more so i am not sure which one is the the longest duration but yeah it's some pretty pretty big time difference hey, i'm just gonna sit and eat my dinner with you guys now The onions still have a bit of crunch in it, which is damn good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone watching in. Hopefully this will be a good year for Headbangers Kitchen. I look forward to sharing a lot of awesome new videos with you. And once again, thank you for the super chat. Oh, so good. Eat a bite of the chicken. Mm. Oh, yum. Hello, Olivia. How are you? So this is chicken kafrial. It's a Goan recipe and it's going to be on the channel soon. Are you planning to start keto? No, uh, I've said it before. I'll say it again. My journey with keto ended in 2019 and if i'm being very honest i don't think i will ever go back on keto i'm one of those people who never says never 
but just going by the way things are i don't see keto as something i will ever return to uh it just doesn't make sense to put myself through that because it's not something i can sustain for the rest of my life and for me it's important to make small sustainable lifestyle changes so like my goal would be to lose half a kilo every week if i want to lose weight lose it over 10 12 months take my time enjoy life uh eat everything in moderation also i'm doing a lot of food blogging now so it's impossible to be keto by the way how many of you eat the cartilage on the chicken because i know some people who love chicken so much they eat the cartilage also of course in my house miso is there so he is that but obviously we don't give him cooked chicken bones ah this is a good recipe i can't wait to share it with you guys okay put the bone away cheers hmm any music updates so i would love to at least write some new music this year um i told myself i'm going to pick up the guitar every day play for at least 20 minutes I think we're 3 days into january and i haven't touched it yet but you know what i don't want to force the music cuz i'd rather do it when i really enjoy it cuz right now i'm just really looking at getting my career on track as a food blogger um because you know i mean got to pay the rent now so uh so working towards that very important right now thank you guys look all the keto recipes can still be eaten on a normal diet and the 350 plus keto recipes that i made are never going anywhere since i'm a musician i look at my recipes as a catalog like i would never go back and delete any of my songs no matter how bad they are like my first album was terrible but i still won't delete it because it's it's part of who i am it's it's what brought me to this point in life today it's part of my journey my history and um, who knows maybe the fact that it's such a bad sounding album might inspire some kid that he can also do what i did like if somebody did something so bad and put it out and people purchased it and listened to it we can do it too you know yes ask me anything while i eat my dinner so my recipes are like my back catalog they never going anywhere you know so if you ever need a a keto recipe headbangerskitchen.com or this youtube channel we got you sorted mephisto who said it was bad not the whole album but like definitely some songs don't delete your stuff ever it's more important to hit that button and release it into the wild The problem with a lot of people is they overthink. I have a bandmate like this, ex bandmate, great guitar player, but I think he did one song with us in the five years that he was there. He just had a habit of being like so trying to be so perfect that he never finished most of his songs. I'm sure if I open up his hard drive, we'll find a whole bunch of unreleased tracks or some deleted files or whatever. But yeah if if you're a creator of any kind if you're a creative person whether you're writing a book making a movie even creating content for Instagram or whatever just just let it out because remember no matter how bad it is today tomorrow will be a little better because you learn from what you previously did so the more you practice and keep doing things like my food photos are so bad like my old food photos i i look at them and i'm like yuck that's so bad like the lighting is wrong the 
you know my lyrics usually turn into 3 to 4 songs that's fantastic as a fellow lyricist good you got 3 4 songs then i'm getting more mushroom than beef tongue in my fried rice guess there were a lot of mushrooms in that sauce i'm already full like i'm nearly like full because this this mushroom risotto fried rice is really really like filling let's go back to the chicken break the creaminess with the slightly more spicy taste of the chicken caffrea Oh, I just ate a whole piece of ginger. Should have been a little more careful. Need a team, thanks. We always do, man. So, I just started hiring people to do my stuff. So, that was the other thing. Like, especially for my solo material, I just figured, look, I got a good day job. Make money in the day job. Put it into the into the music. Hire the best drummers. The best. keyboard players the best whatever whatever i can afford at that point and let them do their magic and you know bring my creations to life mm oh my god so good oh that's a very interesting question through your journey as a food blogger content creator what scares you the most so yeah i guess for me the So the thing is I became a food blogger by like accident. So it was great. Um but I still wanted to kind of be a musician so I just kind of did what I had to do and I went along with it. But then I had a complete like uh, a fall from where I was like my income dropped by like 75%. I'm not even kidding. And that scared me. like it scares me that i have 670000 followers but my videos get 3000 views now because all the viewership of the channel has dropped out or died and the fact that that affects your income so like if just for example let me say i was making $1000 a month and suddenly you wake up one day and you're like oh, okay it's $800 then after a little while okay it's $400 shit it's $250 like that's stressful that's very stressful so for me that is the very the scary and the stressful part is that it can it can all collapse like you just close your eyes and it collapses like that's the scary part otherwise you know for me things like bad feedback criticism none of that scares me because that's all learning but like the uncertainty of this like when it's a big drop in things that is scary otherwise yeah it's all good hey shawn that's awesome so jeera rice okay no so jeera jeera is cumin the spice cumin hold on i got some in a bottle here that is cumin seeds cumin seeds so in uh, in india in the language hindi we call it jeera so cumin seeds are called jeera and when you a lot of indian uh, rice like you eat a lot of indian dishes with rice so you make normal steamed rice that's a variant and sometimes people make jeera rice so that is rice boiled with cumin seeds in it now there are different versions sometimes people will fry some onions they'll fry the cumin seeds and then they'll add the rice and water so you get a like slightly toasty and roasty flavor to the rice you know and that's also the basis for a pulao many times so yeah that's what jeera rice is really getting into the bones and finishing off all the meat
hey thank you so much for posting my song to your facebook and thank you all for the kind words no worries jira is absolutely fine hello ashik from bangladesh some good food in bangladesh man i'd love to visit some day and eat the delicious food in bangladesh So I don't know if you guys know, but I have an Indian food series coming up soon, and it's gonna it's gonna start soon, like next week. I shot six recipes this week, and they're going to be edited now. So stay tuned. System hai uncle. You Muslim? No, I am an atheist. I don't believe in God, anyone's God, but. Uh, I'm born a Hindu, but I don't follow and worship any of these imaginary friends that people have. Let's dig in. Chicken thigh. Hmm. Oh my God, that's so good. <clears throat> and don't forget to smash that like button there's no delicate way to eat chicken on the bone unfortunately My beard is death metal. You are eating someone's body. No sir, I am eating a chicken's body. A chicken is not somebody. This is a chicken. Hey, yes, you can follow my band on Bandcamp. We are also on Instagram, Facebook. Acha, Mr. One sec, put user in a timeout. Put him for 10 minutes. Right. So, okay. My stage name is Demon Stealer. D-E-M-O-N-S-T-E-A-L-E-R. Demon Stealer. You can follow me on Spotify, Apple Music, any and every music platform. Also, demonstealer.bandcamp.com or on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, so just look for Demon Stealer on YouTube. You'll find my channel. My band is called Demonic Resurrection. You can again find us on Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Just search for Demonic Resurrection. Easy to follow us. Almost done with my meal. Ha! Ah, thank you to this bird who gave his life somebody's body. Okay, I'm done being uncouth on camera. Last bite of my risotto. Mm. Oh, that's so good. What demon demon? You don't look cool by demonizing. I don't do it to look cool. Though demons are very cool. Have you ever seen Lord of the Rings? Have you ever seen... Um, I don't know, any, any horror movies? Demons are very cool. I like demons. But I'm a demon stealer. So, technically I'm stealing the demons. I'm not worshipping the demons. I'm stealing the demons. 
and with my band i am resurrecting the demons i mean do you really like do you go to every horror movie and go what is these demons demons are doing what are these demons you have to think of it as art like some movies are horror some are fantasy some are fiction some are rom coms everyone has a different theme and a different style music is the same not everyone needs to be lovey dovey love songs not everybody needs to be political songs not everybody needs to be fantasy songs everyone has their own space and right now i feel like i have space for one more spoon of risotto but i want a piece of beef tongue ah there's the tongue okay two spoons whoops i'm going to have to clean that up i'll get to it later thank you dark sands 93 really appreciated hello miguel sorry i don't speak i feel like you're saying portuguese so i don't know the language hmm oh beef tongue so good that is so good hmm yeah absolutely why not we anyway i do meetups with my followers quite often these days i actually have a food club here in mumbai uh, and we go for different meals together and i curate like an event and stuff but yeah let's do more of these uh, i mean anyway fried rice friday is a thing now so mukbang plus uh, I mean, this is not even like a mukbang. Mukbang, you have to. I mean, now, in today's day and age, a mukbang is only counted as a mukbang if you are eating like infinitely large portions of junk food, which I don't do because I value my health. And now I have to ask you the most important question. This is the last bite. Is the first bite the best bite or is the last bite the best bite? And why? Here's my logic. How is your weather? It's decent. Oh, awesome Ruth, I've got a beef tongue video on my channel that you can watch and I have a new beef tongue video coming up in a few weeks, so awesome. As I was saying, which is the best bite the first bite or the last bite logic is the first bite because you are the most hungry when you start eating so the first bite gives you the most pleasure the last bite well i don't know who's making the argument for the last bite cuz i think the last bite even if it's the best dish you've ever eaten It's a sad bite because it's the last one and the dish is ending. Yes, you do lick the plate clean at the end, especially at home. I've dropped a little food which I need to clean up and dropped my spatula as well. I feel like I should do it now before it like gets even more dirty. Hold on. Oh. It sucks when you mess up your kitchen and drop food. Give me a second guys. I also washed my hands while I was at it. And now just wipe the floor down a little.
clean it up. Okay, how about dessert now? Hold on. Still. Ah, Dipti is not home right now. She's out. Lick the plate. I'm done. Let's get dessert. <clears throat> All right. What the keto fact? I stopped keto in 2019. I no longer do keto. I've posted about it many times. All right. I love oranges for dessert or any fruit rather. Hey, thank you, Kaustub. Really appreciate it. So dessert is a lot of calories. Once in a while, it's fine. You know, if you eat a small bite, 50, 100 calories, it's fine. But most people... Uh, you know, they, they're not eating two, three bites. They're eating a lot more. So for me, I love good fruit after dinner. Is that a very American attitude? Do I get in trouble with that? What is the attitude? We're always looking for our last meal around here. No, that's just a food lover, man. Thank you, Randy. Randall Hall. Really appreciate it. Hello, Deepti Chedi. All right, let's let's eat the orange. Got to peel the orange. I'm going to try. It doesn't always happen. Let's see if I can peel the orange without breaking the skin. I mean, it's not some like parlor trick or anything, but like I did it. Unbroken orange skin. I don't know what achievement I've unlocked now, but like three years follower here too. Thank you, Gap Gapastan Radio. Thank you, I appreciate it. Fifteen year goes Dadu. Hello. See, that's the thing, right? My biggest sort of problem with the whole, I mean, with with me, like my keto channel was that. People watched the channel when they did keto. Once they stopped doing keto, they stopped watching. Hmm. And I eat, I eat it with, I think my wife is back. Hold on. Do you live in Pakistan? No, I'm in Mumbai city in India. Let's see if that's Dipti. Miso, you haven't eaten your food. Your food is untouched. Anyway, uh, it is Dipti. It is, right? Okay. Yeah, that's Dipti. She's back with food. Who is this who hasn't eaten that, you know? Are you Muslim? That's the second time I've been asked this today. No, I'm an atheist. I hate all religions and I don't believe in man-made gods. So, no, I'm not Muslim. I'm born Hindu, but I don't follow that. Yes, good fruit always. I feel like I need to wash, wipe down my counter. Okay. I'll give you one ninety nine for your orange peel. Here you go, man. Take it. All right. Mm. Hello. That's my wife, Dipti. What you end up making? I had a mushroom risotto beef tongue fried rice. What? Jeera rice. Stop talking. She doesn't approve of my delicious food. Stop talking. I can't. I'm on a live stream. How many countries are you going to stop start offending in like one live stream? Every single country, every single everything. Say that again. Mushroom risotto. It is mushroom. No, no. It's it is a beef tongue fried rice mushroom risotto. Beef tongue fried rice mushroom risotto. Guess who's joined the... Excuse me. You're not allowed in the kitchen. Excuse me, Miso. 
Oh, Dipti is going to give the dog beef tongue. I am going to give it to you in your bowl. Come on, Misa, come okay. on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What's that? Orange peeler. Uh-oh. 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 U
show people hey sumit disuza thank you for the super chat i really appreciate it now make me to chili no 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 you are in savage mode how are your teeth need to go to the dentist yeah like yeah like <coughs> yesterday <laughs> wow hey dekho Hello, Rongit. How are you? Oh, again, you cut the chilies without yes. gloves. Dentists are not doctor. Nobody is going to the dentist for freaking heart uh, disease or heart surgery. You go to the dentist for your teeth. They are teeth doctor. Follow Doctor Tom Araya. <laughs> of course. Hey Robin Rupp, thank you so much. Good to see you as well. Happy New Year to everyone who's just joined in. Dipti is having a little cocktail. She's making a picante, which is the cocktail of the year. Cocktail of the year. Okay. So what are you doing? You want to tell us? Not really. Okay. So I've got some jalapeno in here, and I'm going to get some cilantro, and I'm going to muddle the two, and add tequila and lime, and um, Shake it up, yeah. You speak any I, Malayalam? I don't. I do. You can say something in Malayalam. You can't just say. Who? But people say just say something. How are you supposed to say something? Say the same line in Malayalam. I don't know what jalapeno is called in Malayalam. No, the line about people telling you to say something. Malayalam is under parandar. Where are you from? From Mumbai city, Bombay. Where are you all from? Let me know which part of the world you are watching from. I am still not done with my orange. If you speak less and eat more, you would be. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Angela. Mephisto says, "Poda maire." Come on, what are you in school? Wait, what is your wife's name? Dipti, without the H. Oh, we got people from Philippines, Bangalore, Mumbai. Oh, where in the Philippines? Oh, where in the Philippines? Ask Dipti, which you heard. Happy New Year, Kika. Do you know Bhutan? Yes, I do, and I would love to visit someday. We can make it happen. Just say when. New York City need to make a trip to the Big Apple someday as well for all that amazing food. In fact, my cousin from New York is here, visiting. They're from Washington. Oh, but they were living in New York also no, for a while. No, no, no. Okay. I am obviously not up to date. We're doing good. Thank you for asking. Did the dog eat his dinner? Yes. No, he didn't. He's being fussy. The dog. Me so. Spoiled dog. Spoiled dog. What? What was your best vacation ever? I want to go there. So I think for us personally, re in the recent times, Chiang Mai would be like the top of the list, and of course Vietnam. Saigon for me is like awesome. Vietnam and uh, Chiang Mai and Bangkok. These three places. I Island would... is amazing generally. Yeah. Like, but don't go to Phuket. Like, don't bother with Phuket. Go to Chiang Mai. Go to Bangkok. Do you need a hand? No. You sure? Yep. I can break it for you. I just want. need to take out my muddler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It. All good. Okay. Can you tell us what you're doing now? Oh, hold on. I am muddling some jalapeno, which means I'm going to use this just to break the skin and get some of the juices out. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I can. So you need a glass. Okay, so you're muddling. Yeah. And there's some coriander which will go in. Lime juice. Yeah. Tequila. And tequila. And some simple syrup which I'll add later. Okay. So we'll let Dipti make her cocktail and we'll continue chatting. Thanks for calling it Saigon. Oh, is there some controversy there also? Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah. Is it like Mumbai and Bombay?
That guy is Miso. Excuse me. Sorry. Flying eyes. Hey, Jen Jen. Ditti is making a picante. Right? Badly, yeah. Badly? Meaning why is it bad? Isn't because I'm just... Uh, should I leave the us. kitchen? Not at all. Okay. Thank you, Nikita. I'm glad you enjoyed the keto recipes. They will remain online uh, forever. Achha, as a descendant of Vietnamese refugees in the USA, we don't like Ho Chi Minh. Oh, okay. okay. Cool. Saigon it is then. Yes, a picante. A picante is a cocktail made with jalapeno, coriander and tequila. It's and a new cocktail. Lots of lemon juice. It's a Soho House special. Excuse me. What do you need? Yeah. This lime squeezer. Do you need a strainer also? Um, yeah. Mm, the cocktail strainer. Who wants to know how to make this? Who wants to know how to make it? Okay. Not that there's much to see here, but I've muddled jalapeno and cilantro and now i'm going to squeeze one lime one small lime squeeze and squeeze and squeeze once again because i'm loath to waste lime then you add about two ounces of the key lock. and excuse me about half an ounce of simple syrup I'm using grapefruit simple syrup which I made half an ounce and because I like my cocktails a bit on the savory side She's got something called saline solution. Saline. Yes. Saline this or saline? It's two percent saline solution, which is just salt and water. So 20 uh, 20 percent saline solution, which is uh, 20 m uh, 20 grams of salt to 80 grams of water. And that's it. And now we're gonna shake this up. And now because I've forgotten to prepare my glass. bit of dilution you need a you need that salt rim thing i didn't need a salt trim but it's fine we can make it for you while you're getting a glass yeah. ready no no i've got saline in it so it's all good is this it that is it but that's fine should i put it on plate for you no no bother. okay we are not bothering with the it's just a casual friday drink so we are not going to oops worry about the are we agency? both dropping things today Ice just melts into water. And now we're going to double strain this. Okay. Hold on. I have too many bones and plates and all in the way. Oh. So you can see in the strainer the bits of jalapeno, coriander, etc. So ideally you would want to use a cheesecloth so you get more of the greens but we are drinking at home so it doesn't really matter. Squeeze all that last bit of juice in there, you don't want to waste, you know, alcohol. Alright, that's it. Sai, do you want to try it? I'm not much of a drinker but... Alright, since she has offered, let's try her picante. Oh, smells of coriander, jalapeno. Oh, very savory. Nice. Too savory? No, I mean for me, yes. Like sweet drinks. I like sweet drinks, but. Oh, yeah. So good. If you like a margarita, you will love this. So good. All right, and that is a perfect drink there smash that like button if you enjoyed the cocktail oh wait just smash the like button if you enjoyed the performance of making the cocktail 
Kishan, I lost and gained back 40 kgs on keto. What about you? Did you ever boomerang like that? Yes, absolutely. I lost 12 kilos, gained it all back. And uh, yeah, that's what happens. I mean, if you can't sustain a diet, then you tend to just boomerang back and get to the weight that you were before the diet. In fact, most people put on weight because your body is just like, save all the fat, save all the fat. Not exactly, but you know. So yeah, um, that's why I said my, my whole sort of outlook on dieting and fitness and weight loss and all changed quite a bit to like having more sustainable lifestyle changes that you can actually adhere to. So overall, just try and live a healthier lifestyle. Uh, if you want to lose weight, do it slowly and it will stay off rather than trying to do it quickly. This guy makes me think about my grandfather. Okay, thank you. I, am I making you think of your grandfather? Apparently, you're supposed to keep off the weight for one and a half years so your body can keep those changes. Yes, absolutely. You need to maintain your weight for one to three years, actually. The reverse of your teeth are perfect. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <clears throat> oh wow this has been a fairly long live stream 71 minutes wow thank you so much for all of your uh, wow that was just one sip of a drink i'm already slurring <laughs> all right folks how did miso get his name named after someone or food oh we named him after after food miso paste it was either miso or nori. That was the options. Anyway, folks, this has been a fantastic live stream. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time hanging out with you all today. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Maybe next week I'll do another one of these. Also, keep your eyes peeled on the channel for new videos that are coming soon. Anyway, I'm going to go now and take care. Have a great Friday night and see you when I see you. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey, Mikhail Madnani. What the? Quietly watching from the shadows. Anyway, <laughs> good night.